project, we've decided to solve a problem that affects our lives and the lives of the people around us. In the dance and theater world, it's a big problem when you have to go from a tap shoe like this to a character shoe like this. From shoe to the other, you're usually under a strict time constraint, often seconds at most, and this time includes makeup touches and costume changes, so this can be very difficult, especially when tap shoes and character shoes can be very difficult to remove very quickly and easily. The reasons that we chose to undertake this problem of tap shoes and character shoes is because I'm a dancer. And I've danced for 13 years now, so um, it's a big part of my life. And something that I have really noticed is that shoes are one of the biggest issues in a quick change. In a quick change, you'll have three to four people helping you change if you're in a community theater and you don't have specific choreographed. Um, quick changes or helpers, and um, it can be a really big problem because even though you have those three or four people, no one knows what they're doing. And so while someone's like shoving a dress over your head, another person is wrenching your foot from the ground and pulling shoes off of you and trying to get other shoes on you. And it can, and it can actually um, hurt a dancer. One or two have um, really twisted their ankles and have fallen on stage because they fell backstage. similarity, um, mostly if you take these taps off, it's the exact same as a character shoe. In fact, a lot of dancers prefer to buy a more expensive character shoe and simply screw taps on themselves. And so what we decided to do was simply make a removable tap. So you can just exchange the tap and you're good to go. <laughs> We had to do a lot of research, specifically patent research. Um, and one thing that came in very handy were patent applications, since a lot of different companies have been trying to make heels with interchangeable parts so that a consumer can buy one base and several different attachments and be able to spend a lot less money on a shoe. While this isn't directly applicable to dance, we can use the same um, methodologies and ideas that they have to create our um, tap shoe since we need to exchange similar parts. So first up, we have a patent application known as a, a replaceable sleeve system. And what's really great about this patent is that um, the toe portion of the shoe is replaceable, um, which is something that we have not found on many patents. And this patent is very crucial for us simply because it um, is replaceable in the toe section. And while we would have to alter it um, slightly, it's quite an easy thing to fix. The issue with this is simply that the corner panel, as you can see here, and the vamp, as you can see here, aren't connected. And on a tap shoe, 
that's a really necessary portion to be connected since um, it provides extra support. Another thing that we wouldn't be using um, anything like from this patent is the replaceable heel portion. And the reason we could, mm -hmm. and the reason that we wouldn't use it is simply because they use a friction fit for their heel. And while this is perfectly fine for walking or everyday life, it doesn't work out so well in the dance world because you either have to you either have to sacrifice ease of remove ease of removability or strength of the fit itself. And so. Um, in a quick change situation, if you were to attempt to remove this heel, if it were to fit well, then it would be incredibly difficult, and if it didn't fit well, then it might fall off on stage. Here we have another patent application. This one is known as the Removable Heel Connector Apparatus, and um, what it does is when you press down on this button, the heel comes off and can be exchanged. While this is Incredible. While this would be ideal for quick changes, it's quick, it's easy, we would have to overcome a few challenges, one of them being the durability of this heel. And while, again, it's good for daily walking, a dancer would have to jump on, a dancer occasionally has to jump onto their heel or strike it against the ground, um, and it undergoes a lot more stress than it would walking and we would have to overcome the challenge of that durability and also the challenge of simply manufacturing the heels. So far with our project we've come up with a few different solutions and so we've determined that the most important thing is durability because even though heels, removable heels have already been manufactured, the dancers that are wearing these removable tap shoes are going to be putting a lot more impact on the heels so they'll have to be a lot more durable than they already are. Very important. And we've also determined that we'll have to have two different independent solutions, one for the front tap and one for the back tap. And we've come up with some ideas, so we'll show you those now. This is our first solution. So this is the key heel solution, keyhole heel solution. This is the side view of the heel. So we have the ex piece extending from the tap and going into the heel of the shoe, twisting and securing into the heel. This is a very um, easy solution um, that we like. It would be easy to make the piece that extends off the tap, but a difficult um, part would be making the hole in the heel um, to make it secure. But if we did, it would be very secure and it would be very durable. But another problem is that it also is only a solution for the heel, so we'd have to come up with something else completely for the front of the shoe. This is our strap and heel solution. The solution is nothing the other one like we have um, that we have a piece extruding from the tap into the shoe. But like with the last one, the keyhole heel, that one would be going to the tap and twist to secure the security of strap it. With this piece, we also need uh, a pry tool so that it can be taken out easier to put between the tap and the heel. So this would solve the problem of somebody trying to take your shoes off and getting you off balance. They would just need to put the tool between the tap and the shoe and tell you to move your foot so that you can pop the tap off of your shoe. And it's also good because this is also a solution for the heel and the front of the toe, so we wouldn't need two different solutions. And you can see here the piece extending from the tap and the front taps would have to have several of them on the back so we just have one. This is our stamp and heel solution. It's similar to the removable sleeve pattern that we talked about. With this, we have wraps running along the top of the tap and we have rails on the bottom of the shoe so they would slide in together and we'd have a connector piece sticking out from the back of the tap that would slide in and connect to a piece on the bottom of the shoe as well. And this, So the solutions are good because it'd be very secure and easy to remove and put on very quickly but again it's also only a toe solution so we'd have to come up with a separate solution for the heel, and it would be a little difficult to manufacture the pieces, but overall this is a very good.